By the way, on a positive note, before I leave, I'm going to ride that big slow merry-go-round in the sky over there. <laughs> it's just too beautiful. There is no wind here and that thing is still turning. Can't believe it. Boomtown Laboratories. Kind of a neat effect. That's off the window. Anyway, LEDs. Putting on a lot of light. And way over here. Looks kind of like a sound stage, but that's the underside of the solar panels. You have light in all different directions. Pretty decent light to work under. You, I worked pretty well under there. I did a lot of connections. Actually, I did 40 connections because there's 20 solar panels, two wires on each solar panel. Anyway, got all that done. And on top of that, I went over here. And there's the end of the wire. That's four strands of number 12 Romex wire right here going into the conduit. Conduit runs all the way over the top of the porch here and all the way over here and all the way out to here that was a lot of pulling i got a workout too i mean okay now that they're done over there at the cement see my romex is running way up over there to where the other box is going to be and coming back and i got a i got a box sitting right there just to the right side of the little spray can it's going to lead one off going over here to where this box is going to be there. The other box is going to be up over there somewhere. All right, it comes around. It's got a nice curve. I put that in with a bicycle wheel. I'm going to do, I have to extend from this box right here out over to there and then back over. So that means I'm going to make one more curve. I did this one with a bicycle wheel. All right, we got a little dust on the panels here. It's all right. Like we said, one, two, three, four, five which I've got a numbered underneath one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and I haven't numbered these yet I'm gonna number them in the same fashion starting with eleven those ones over there that are one through five I'm gonna have on L1 L1 is the black wire that you see inside your conductors L2 is the red and if this was three phase power coming to this place it would be a blue one for L3 but anyway I'll show you the, the label underneath these things these were 78 cents per watt 205 watts a piece so, but pretty close to about four thousand dollars ay 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 78 cents a watt though a whole lot better than four and five bucks a watt and right here it says evergreen solar peak power 205 watts maximum peak power 209.9 almost 210 but I don't think we're gonna see that okay got planes flying over interrupting the video almost feel like Dan Rojas minimum peak power 205 watts voltage at peak power is 28.5 volts that's where the inverters start their uh, power and current at peak power 7.21 amps that's very important that tells you your wire size well on this system I decided to uh, go with a little bit thicker wire than needed just to make sure uh, the, vo the voltage travels. Then uh, open circuit voltage 35 volts. That's when the sun's shining on it and you've got it unhooked from everything and you're just measuring the voltage across the panel. And then when you short the circuit the current 7.91 amps 7.9 amps that's uh, shorted straight through the meter. Anyway if you look right here it says cosmetically imperfect at 78 cents a watt that's not a bad deal let me show you what cosmetically imperfect is there we go it's a beautiful panel I'm gonna look right down here this one got chipped and it slid sideways you can see the edge right here that's not something over the edge of the panel you notice how this edge is sitting out just a little bit farther so this one here got taken out this far and that's cosmetically imperfect this is the only one I found the cosmetically imperfect part on. All these over here, going to take a little bit of looking to find them. Uh, have no idea what the cosmetically imperfect is. Maybe it could be that these don't quite line up perfect or something right here. This, just basically the only thing you got to know is it's 205 watts each. There's over 4,000 watts worth of solar panel up here. The grid tie inverters are 1,200 watts each. I got four of them. 
one for that one one for that set one for that set one for that set and one for that set over there I'm running each panel to the grid tie inverter on 12 gauge wire each connection is separate okay show you what I've done well I've got the electrical hooked up I'll show you all that in a little bit and especially when I get onto the other one uh, I've already got these plugged in and these are powered off so and I've got all the uh, solar panels already rigged up here when I was in sign work we had uh, had to do what we called a drip loop that's where it comes down and then comes up that means the water will drop off the end of the loop and never make it up to the connection it keeps your connections dry that's an all sign work also I painted the heat shrink when I stuck it on each one of these and then I made my connections I showed you the connections and then I slide it over the connections after I'm done crimping and you can't tell that it's not the same piece of wire and this is completely sealed I've got a tie wrapped up high that way the drip loop keeps the water off of everything and I've got them grounded on these screws right here there's a better shot of that one over there all the ones down this all the ones over this way on down are uh, one two three four and five solar panel and then I've come over here six seven eight nine and ten and this is the first two coming to here and I've got those all the way down there I've got those wired just a little different without the grounds because it's all grounded through the system through the screws and all this other stuff I'm also going to add another ground I've got a I've got a ground down here it jumps over to the ground on the box which is all already grounded through the plug which I tested with the ohm meter and they don't seem to be connected got one more ground down there and then it goes out here to a drip loop and it's going to connect to the bottom of this rail on the big bolt so far that's what I've got I've got all these one through five coming through here actually one through three coming through here and they call they come up over to here this is for the next set of solar panels this is six seven and eight right here that's those three panels here and then these first two right here come down and they come all the way across over here everything's got a nice drip loop I've decided to, oh, there goes my glasses I will have to get a magnet to get them but anyway all the drip loops come down and it's all gonna drip in here and I got my drip loops there I still haven't heated the heat shrink here I kind of use the holes here to keep keep the order of the panels and so that's where I'm at on this set over here and then I'm gonna go to the other set and you're gonna see a little bit more over there I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energy many good things to you and yours something else to notice you see these little barcodes right here with that uh, I forget what they call that but it's eight six blah 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 four zero five oh six this is not the product number there's more of them all the way down on each of them plus right here we're looking at 860 blah 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 40506 look at the one over here on this side you notice it's a different number so this is not a product number this is your serial numbers these pa these panels can be traced they could take a picture of that with their iPhone and track these things. It's a good thing to record all of these numbers. Keep your packing slip. It should have them on it. If it doesn't, then write them all down. This is in case they ever get stolen. Okay, we're looking down at the conduit. I've got two cables of 12 gauge wire running through here for conductor. Uh, ground to neutral. Red wire, which is the uh, L2, and L1, which is the black wire. And that's two cables setting through here. This seal conduit. Not really meant for outside, but uh, we're going to seal these joints with a bunch of silicon and uh, encapsulate it. This bend here that you see in the conduit, that bend in the conduit was done on the rim on this table. That little handle that rolls the cart around. I, I stuck the conduit on top of the handle there and bent it up around the rim until I got it to that curve right there. I'll show you another way to bend. This bend right here was done with a bicycle rim. Stuck the bicycle rim up against two pieces of uh, angle iron on a trailer. The other end of the conduit was stuck into the next post and I just pulled it around and bent it. That keeps it from kinking. Another way you can bend if you really have to. Did these purposely. See it's got a kink here. A 
kink here, and a kink here, and a kink here. This was done on a vise, and then I squoze it on the sides and did this. What I did is I measured how far over this way that it would line up straight where I got the box mounted, and how far I had from here to here to make that bend in. So I made a bend here and a bend here, and I measured over, looking straight down here. I measured from here over to here to see if it would fit. It came up here, and she fit in beautifully. It came in here, and I cut it off. This box is sitting a little bit farther back, so when I pull the box up, but for right now, I'll leave it right where she's at until I, until I hook up the receptacle box. So this one's all getting ready to get wired up. You're going to get to see a lot of this. I'm just going to start pulling the wire and hooking it all up. 1200 watt grid tie inverter. We're using about 1000 watts, so we're not peaking it out or maxing it out. Um, these are about anywhere from 80 to 85% efficient. So out of the 1000 watts, he's going to get uh, probably about 800 watts a set coming out. So that'll be 3200 watts unless it peaks up a little higher. And that's going to make a nice dent in his electric bill. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and other home energies. I'm fixing to go hook up the ground over here on this other box. Uh, maybe I'll take a little shot of video for that.